Hello, good morning, girls. Hello, good morning, students. Hello, welcome to today's class. Today is Friday. Okay, so uh, after today's class, you'll be very happy because you're going to enjoy one week holiday. Okay, so I hope today's lesson will be, uh, I mean, today's class will be a bit better than the other day. I hope my internet line will be stable. Okay, so first of all, can you please uh, put in the comments here? Are you able to hear me well? Please let me know. Okay, girls, everyone, good morning. Shu Hui. Stella, Hui En, Xinyi, Vivian, Xiao Hui, good morning, Kai Chi, Crystal, Janice, okay, Patricia, Bun Xiu. Okay, please let me know whether uh, Lindsay, good morning, and Pun Yi Ching. Please comment here in the box here whether I'm cloud and clear to you. Can okay, hear? Okay, good, Stella, right? Thanks for your feedback. Okay, today I'm going to continue a little bit about uh, the uh, electricity. And uh, we're going to calculate, we're going to do some simple calculation. So today's lesson is actually quite interesting. It is very related to your life because uh, you're going to learn how do we, uh, how do people, I mean, how do Tenaga National calculate our electricity bill so that, you know, when every, you know, every month we have this uh, meter man who come and read your meters. Okay, how does he know how much to charge you? So today we're going to see how much he charges you is depending on how much electricity you use. Okay, how much electricity you use for the month, and it depends on what electrical appliances you have uh, switched on for that month. Okay, let's go on to lesson now. All right. Yin Shen, Eileen, good morning, Xinyi. Okay, everyone, good morning. All right, let's look at this part here. I'm going to go to 6.4, which is calculate the cost of electrical energy consumption. Okay, now the word consumption means usage. How much usage of electricity for that month? All right, okay, let me... Uh, enlarge this a little bit. Okay, so consumption means usage. Now, uh, the more, of course, it's logical to know, uh, to, 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 to say that the more electricity you use, the more energy you use, of course, the more you pay, lah, right? The, your bill is higher. So energy means what? Actually, actually, energy is the ability to do work. Okay, it doesn't matter what kind of work, all right? The work of moving something to another place, uh, another place, one thing moving is called kinetic energy. So there are different forms of energy. Sound is also actually energy. Light, okay, electrical energy, kinetic energy, sound, light, heat, all these actually are different forms of energy. <clears throat> and energy, as you learned last time in, uh, I think in earlier, uh, I think form one or form two, energy cannot be created. Energy can also, cannot be destroyed. But energy can only change from one form to another form. So that means if I give it electrical energy, okay, I switch on the bulb, I'm giving electrical energy, correct? Okay, I'm giving electrical energy to the bulb. And then what the bulb does is converting the energy into light because it's going to give you light. When you switch on the bulb, the bulb will give you light. So light is the light, uh, this is the energy. The electrical has been confirmed, uh, can be converted into light and also can be converted into heat. Because a bulb will give you heat as well. Okay, depending, different types will give you different amounts of heat. Lah. Some bulbs are hotter. Some bulbs are not so hot. Okay? And then, of course, when you talk about radio, a radio, when you switch on the radio, you, you have to switch it, uh, you have to give it electricity. It will convert it into sound. You hear sound. Okay? Sound is also energy. And we talk about a motor. You switch on the motor, it turns. Right? The motor runs. So you get kinetic energy. So electrical energy can be converted into electrical, can be converted into sound, and vice versa. A lot of these energies can be converted. So you have a machine, a system, which converts it. If it runs on electricity, you switch on the electricity, right? And it converts the electricity to give you maybe light, to give you sound, to give you heat, or to give you uh, kinetic energy. Okay, so these are a few forms of energy here. There are about eight types of energy if you look up. Huh? Okay, now how do we calculate energy? Uh, the, the, what is the unit for energy? All these forms of energy, doesn't matter what form it is, all of them have the unit of called Joule. J-O-U-L-E. Okay? All right, okay, everyone is here. All right, okay, good. Shireen, everyone, good morning. Yak Xiao En, Puini, and so on. So these are... Uh, forms of energy calculated in a form of a unit is called joule. And one kilojoule is equivalent to 1,000. Whenever you see the kilo here, it refers to 1,000. Okay, very simple. It's called a metric system. Okay, started by the French in the, during the French Revolution. So when you have a kilo, kilometer means 1,000 meter. 
One kilojoule means 1,000 joule. Okay? <clears throat> one kilogram, 1,000 gram. Very simple way. It's a metric. It's very, very convenient. It's very easy to understand. So now look at the job or work. We call it work. Huh? Work is, um, is called en energy. It's the ability to do work. Lah, right? So energy is calculated in the form of joule. So you see, if I switch on the bulb, you see the bulbs here? There are four different types of bulbs here. If I give electricity to the bulb, the bulb is going to use that joule and convert into light. Okay? Now, Look at the different measurements here. This is called W. W is watts. W A T T watt. What is a measurement of power? Okay, the physical quantity is called powerful. Powerful means how uh, good are you at doing the job given the amount of time? Okay, for example, if I call uh, uh, A and B runners, okay, runner, runner, they are running hundred meters. If both of them are running all right now who is more powerful usually we talk about powerful with of course maybe the legs are very powerful can run faster like right powerful so if a can reach the 100 meter in a shorter time let's say uh a can run 100 meters in 15 seconds whereas b b runs the race 100 meters same distance in uh, 25 seconds okay so who would you say is more powerful a runs the same distance 100 meters in uh, 15 seconds and B runs the race, the same race, same distance, in 25 seconds. So who do you think is powerful? A, of course, will reach first. Lah. Okay, he will be the winner. The B will come slow, uh, will come second. He will be 10 seconds later. So who is more powerful? Can you uh, type on the chat box here whether A is a powerful runner or B is powerful, more powerful? Which is more powerful? A takes 15 seconds to finish the race. B takes 20 seconds to finish the race. Okay, we look at the amount of time given. Okay, so A, yes, Stella, right? A is correct. So because shorter time, you do the same work, but shorter time, it means it's more powerful. So when you talk about power, it has to do with time. The amount of work done divided by time. Okay, that means it's able to finish the job faster, quicker, in a shorter time. Then you will say that one is more powerful. So like a worker, all right, a worker who does the job, you give the same amount of job, A and B, worker can finish the job faster. You will say he's powerful, right? The, 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 the work that he does is shorter time, in a shorter time. So you will say this worker is more powerful, okay? So same thing for these electrical devices. If I have, I give a job for you to do, for example, a bulb. A bulb's job is to convert electricity into light. Of course, you may have also heat. I don't think you have sound, right? A bulb doesn't produce sound unless the bulb rosak lah, okay? It produces a zzz, 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 okay, sound. Then you have sound energy. But usually, what you want to do is when you want to you want to switch on the lamp, you actually want the light. You don't really, you, not so much you want the heat, right? Okay, so you talk about uh, how powerful it is, okay? How whether the bulb can do the job or not very well. So we look at the brightness, huh? because brightness is what you want in a bulb. Okay, so if the bulb has got uh, is 10 uh, watts, 10 watts, okay, you will see the brightness like this. Okay, let's say, lah, all right, then you have a 20 watt, you will see it's brighter, okay, brighter because it's more powerful, right? It, it can produce, use the and same amount of energy, do the work, and give you the light. Okay, let's say 100 watt, 100 watt, all right, 100 watt will be much brighter, even though you don't see much difference here. 100 watt and another one 100 watt also will be equal brightness so these two should be equal brightness huh? we're talking about the same wattage so the brightness is dependent on the wattage of the bulb the higher the watt okay the higher the wattage the higher the brightness of the bulb if you're talking about bulb huh? if you're talking about vacuum cleaner of course it's not brightness really vacuum cleaner you talk about let's say a powerful vacuum cleaner the wattage is very high let's say 1000 it means that it's able to suck the dust very very efficiently that means the suction power is strong okay so if we talk about aircon if you talk about the power of the aircon 2000 watts that means it is able to produce the coolness right in a shorter amount of time that means your room even though it's big it will still feel cool if you have an aircon that is very uh we call it not so powerful let's say 1000 maybe if it's a big air a big room it will not feel cold you can only work if the air, uh, room is very sorry, very small. Okay, so that's what it means. Huh? The ability to do work is 
uh, called uh, we call it uh, we call it sorry yeah the ability, energy is the ability to do work and how fast the work is done all right you look at power okay now let's look at energy efficiency how efficient is your bulb here if I give you a bulb I'll give you a machine I ask you how efficient is it doing the job okay now how to calculate energy efficiency efficiency means is how well is it doing the job is it wasting the resources you give it are you is it wasting it or is it doing 100 percent okay how do you call even energy efficiency okay simple it's a percentage of energy input how much energy you give it is called energy input and then how much energy you, it, it produces is called output okay now energy efficiency can be defined as this just look at the formula first after to explain an example okay useful energy input so how much of the energy given to it has been you uh, has been converted into useful energy let's go useful okay. useful energy useful is what you want now now for in the example of a bulb what you want is light so the brightness that the, the, that one if it's converted into light is considered useful and then divided by the input input is what you give it okay what kind of energy you give it how much energy you give it and then it times 100 okay you won't understand this until i give you a question so let's look at the question now look at this bulb this is a normal light bulb we call it a filament bulb okay a filament bulb mm, okay everyone answer a correct okay you have a concept of powerful powerful means you do things in a short time you do the same job compared to another person but you can finish it fast then you say it's powerful okay like a powerful runner the legs are very strong can finish the race faster right in a shorter time okay let's look at this this is a machine <laughs> a simple machine i mean not a machine this is a device all right what it does is i switch on the bulb i switch on the switch it's going to give me brightness it's going to give me light okay so i need to give energy correct your bulb cannot run on nothing your bulb doesn't run on petrol. Your bulb doesn't run on uh, gas. It runs on electricity. So I need to connect to a wire. Of course, it connect to a socket. Okay, I mean connect to the electrical supply. I switch on the switch. So actually, when I switch on the switch, how much energy am I giving it? Okay, let's say 100 joule. 100 joule of electrical energy. Energy is always using joule. When I want to talk about calculation of energy, just energy only, not power, eh? energy, the unit is in joule, okay? Unit, all forms of energy, sound, light, kinetic, uh, heat, all forms of energy, the unit is called joule, J-O-U-L-E, capital J. So if I give 100 joule of electrical energy to this bulb, what the bulb is going to do is going to convert this 100 joule of energy and give you what you need. What is the job of a bulb? The job of the bulb is to produce what? produce light correct huh? yes is to produce light as you know our uh, common sense what you, when you want to buy a bulb what you want is actually the brightness the light you do not want the sound okay if you want a sound i wouldn't be buying a bulb if i want sound i want to read i'll buy a radio correct huh? if i want heat i wouldn't be buying this also if i want heat i will be buying a radiator to produce heat for the room so usually <clears throat> right when you if you a bulb not only will produce light it will also produce heat actually because you know why this is a filament bulb. A filament bulb is a simple. Uh, it is a special wire. There's a special wire inside the filament there. It's called tungsten. Tungsten is a metal which has a very <clears throat> what you call a uh, high resistance. So when electricity moves in, the electrons move into the wire. It's going to have a high friction, a lot of friction with the molecules inside the tungsten. It's going to have a lot of friction, and it's going to become hot. When it becomes hot, it's going to burn. It's going to what you call light up. So it becomes so hot that it lights up. So that's why you're going to see the brightness. It works on that technology. You need to produce a lot of friction inside there, very right? high friction, uh, high resistance, you got resistance, high resistance. And then it's going to produce heat and it's going to light up. So that's why you will have heat actually. Okay, this kind of bar produces heat actually. Now look at the figure. How much of the 100 joule is produced, it is used to make light? Look at the number here. They say here, 8 joule only is used to produce light. Then what happened to the rest? Out of 100, let's say I give 100 ringgit. 
you go and take your air ringgit to buy food, which is I say is useful lah, isn't it? Food is important. You need to you need sustenance so that you are uh, you are not tired. You have enough nutrients. So food is in, I would say is useful, right? I give you hundred ringgit. You use eight ringgit to go and buy food. But what happened to the ninety two ringgit? What happened to the ninety two joule? Ninety two joule here for this bulb, it has been converted into heat. Okay, it has been converted into heat. Now this is not what you want from a bulb. If you can, you want hundred percent of the joule to be converted into light because you want your bright, your your you want your a bulb to as bright as possible. Correct, not that's why you want to buy a bulb is to give you light. A bulb is not for you to give you heat. If I want to give give me heat, I'll buy something else. I'll buy something that can give me heat like a radiator. Okay, so ninety two of the joule, ninety two joules ah of the hundred has been changed into heat, which we feel that is wasted because it's not being used to give you brightness. It's not uh, used to make light. It's used to make heat. All right. So this is considered wasted. Wasted. That means, uh, like I said, again, you air ringgit. I give you 100 ringgit. You air ringgit, go and buy food. 92, you go and do something use, useless with it. For example, you go and find a duty. All right. You gamble it off and then you finish it all in the game. All right. That is called wasted. So what happens here is how to find the energy efficiency. So you have these figures here already, right? How to find energy efficiency. How efficient is the bulb? Is the bulb very good at doing the job or not? Let me ask you, looking at the figure here, can you tell me, is this bulb effective or not? Is it very good at doing the job? Yes or no? Just look at the number. I give you 100 joule. I give the bulb 100 joule. And it only takes 8 joule, use the 8 joule to produce light. Whereby 92 of the joule has already turned into something else, which you can't really use. Okay, is it an efficient bulb or not? Yes or no? Is this an efficient bulb? No. Okay, good. Not effective. Yes. Not effective. No. Correct. Because you look at the figure. Look at the number. Okay, how to get a figure? You use this formula. So here, energy efficiency, right? Let's write down. Don't look at your textbook. I know it's from textbook, but you need to understand it step by step. So energy efficiency, all right? Let me just type it lah, easier. Nicer and neater. All right, energy efficiency equal to, so energy efficiency, okay, equal to, now, how much has it, is your, the one that you want, useful energy output, look at the formula, useful energy output, useful energy output is only 8, all right, 8 joule, okay, 8 joule, you can choose to write joule or you don't write for number mind, divided by, divided by the total <clears throat> energy that you give it, you supply it with 100 joule. You give 100 joule to the thing for it to do the job. But you only use 8, eight only. Okay, 100 divided by 100. And then you have to put a percentage because energy efficiency is calculated in terms of percentage. So times 100. Okay, now this one you can put joule, this one you can put joule. Actually, joule and joule up there already cancel. Okay, make sure the 8 is joule, 100 is also joule, so actually it's cancelled. So you can see, you can simplify it. What is your answer? You can cancel 100, you get 8. Now 8, because you cancel off the joule, up there joule, down there joule, so you cancel off. Your answer is always in the uh, percentage. Hmm? Answer is percentage. Actually, the 8 percent is considered very, very, very what? 8 percent, no, out of 100, no, 8 percent only, uh. It is considered very low. So it is a low efficiency bulb. It's not very good because I give you so much resources. I give you 100 joule. You only can give me, uh, you can only produce light with the 8 joule. The rest of the 92, you cannot do the job and give me light. In other words, it already turned into heat. So it's a low efficiency. Okay, so this is how you get your efficiency of your electrical appliances. Always take what is the useful energy they will give you in the answer in the question? Then you divide by the total amount of joule supplied to it times 100%. Okay, so it's low efficiency. So let's compare some bulbs. Okay, sorry, here's look here. Let's compare some bulbs now. All right, now not all bulbs are the same. Now in our market here, we go to Mr. DIY, you can go to any electrical shop. You ask for bulbs, they'll ask you what bulb you want. You want LED bulb, you want the normal filament bulb. You have the CFL bulb, okay? So let's look at the tree. Now, filament lamp is just not the example that was given up there, which is uses a filament technology. This is a tungsten wire, 
which is stretched over two terminals here, okay, over two points. So when electricity goes in, it will make the tungsten wire become hot. Okay, the first thing it is it's hot. So there's going to be heat generated. And when it's so hot, it will the whole wire will become red. So when red means it bright, light, it, it sort of like uh, lights up. When it lights up, uh, then you can see the heat. I'm sorry, the light will be radiated out. Okay, so you find the light. This is tungsten wire. But the problem is the disadvantage is it is very hot. Okay, the normal, then the red one, uh, no, not the red one, the yellow lamp, uh, the yellow lamp, it's going to be quite warm. So why? Because maximum, uh, the most amount of uh, uh, car of joule given to it uh, the, at most uh, at most uh, it's only 10% only let's say I give 100 joule it can only take that 110 joule from there to produce into light the rest of it will probably become heat so we call it this is actually quite low so nowadays right we don't buy buy this it's cheapest yes this kind of pub is the cheapest cheapest but uh, two at disadvantages number one very low uh, brightness because only 10% of the energy you keep becomes light. The rest of it has become something else. So brightness is low. Number two, it doesn't last long because your filament here can burn out easily. Okay, maybe it will last for two or three years. Then after you got to throw away your bulb and you have to buy a new one to replace the old one. Okay, so it's not lasting and it is low energy efficiency. Okay, so that's why we uh, developed other types of bulb. So they call CFL, energy uh, saving bulb, energy saving lamp, compact fluorescent lamp. Now this one, the energy efficiency is a bit better, much better, in fact, 50%. I give 100 joule to this bulb, all right, of electrical energy. It is able to take half of it, around 50% of it to make your uh, bulb, sorry, to make your light, and another 50 will be something else. Huh? So in other words, this one will be a bit brighter. Given the same amount of energy, given the same amount of electrical energy, it can give you more brightness because fifty percent, huh? just now was ten percent, so it's more brightness, uh, more is more bright, okay, brighter. Now, now we have an, uh, we have had this LED lamp for a long time. Uh, LED lamp is even more efficient because the energy, uh, the conversion, I give hundred joule, it can use that ninety joule to convert into light energy. That means the con the energy efficiency is ninety percent, but it's quite high. Okay, so anything above 60 or 70 is considered good. Lah. Okay, definitely 90 is considered good, very good really. That means out of the electricity that we give, majority of the energy will be used to make light, while only very little will become heat. Okay, so this is high efficiency, high energy efficient bulb. So that's why usually now we buy this LED lamp. Two advantages, number one, very efficient. That means you give this amount of energy, almost all you can give you become light. Number two, it is also long lasting because the technology of producing the, the bulb here is not the same as a filament. It doesn't have to heat up the any wire. There's no wire inside that. There's no tungsten wire, okay? Right, so it uses a different technology and it's more lasting. Maybe one bulb like this, you buy one, of course more expensive like, compared to your filament bulb, but it can last you maybe 10, more than 10 years before it rolls up. Okay, then this one for the film, two or three years you gotta uh, you have to you have to change a new one. So in the long run, it is more uh we call it the cost is lower. Okay, even though you buy at one time is more expensive, but if you use it for many, many years, you find that the cost of it is lower because you don't, you don't have to keep on changing it. Okay, so that is uh this uh, Nick, we came back question here, uh, ask you about the advantages of LED lamps. What's the advantages? Okay, it can last longer, right? Uh low i call it uh, and also high energy efficiency it can convert it into brightness it's brighter all right and longer lifespan so this is advantages okay let's look at some electrical appliances when you buy electrical appliances sometimes when in malaysia we have this label here huh? you see this label this label is done by this surohan jaya uh Tanaga, which you call energy commission it's a separate company it's a, it's a government semi-government kind of uh establishment it tests all these electrical appliances to make sure it's safe for the consumer. So if they, they, they give you a label here on the electrical appliances, like I've, I've bought a TV or some years ago, and this label was actually stuck here. It's stuck on the TV. So some of these electrical appliances will have this label, all right, stuck here to tell you to educate the consumer, to make sure that you have information available so that you want to buy something that is energy saving. Okay, energy saving means 
it doesn't run a lot of electricity. It doesn't use a lot of electricity. You buy once, maybe it's more expensive. But because you use it for many years, every month uh, you give uh, you, you the, the electricity that you uses is actually lower compared to buy something cheap. But every month the the, the electricity bill uh, is going to be high because it uses a lot of electricity. So you can see this to educate the public to make a good choice. So here they rate it whether it's one star or five star. So the best is five star. Uh. Five star rating means the energy consumption is low. In one year, maybe it uses a certain, um, certain amount of kilowatt hour. So energy consumption, we're going to use, uh, we're going to look at this figure. This is the unit. When the electric meter man come and see your meter, actually all these numbers that he write down here, like this is your meter, uh, let's say this is your meter. The number that you see, 273210, all this is actually in the unit of kilowatt hour. Okay, later we will see. We will see how to measure our electrical bill. Okay, so this is kilowatt hour, and then <clears throat> the lower this kilowatt hour, that means the less electricity you will use. That means you pay the bill lesser, right? Help you to save electricity. So this is the uh, energy efficiency labeling program. You will find it in your electrical appliances that you before you buy. Uh, this is to give you an advice uh, for a consumer to to know uh, whether this is uh, energy saving or not. Okay, now let's look at this one. Now uh, this is the meter I'm talking about. <coughs> Sorry, this is the number here. This is the digital one. Uh. The one I have in my house is not a digital one. The number keeps on rolling one. Okay, that one is not digital. This is a digital one. So it doesn't matter. They both function the same thing. Is to measure the amount of the electricity used. Okay, so they come every month. Uh, I think once, once in two months the last time. Last time was once in two months. And then in between, uh, they will send you a bill as an estimation. But I think now it's every month already. Okay. Last time, at one time, it was once in two months. So measure the amount of electricity used is the purpose. This is the function. And from there, you can calculate the cost. <clears throat> how much How much is your bill for that month? Okay, let's see. The unit is kilowatt hour. All right? Now, first of all, you need to know your electrical appliances in the house uses how much current. Okay, uses how much current. So how to find it? You need to learn this formula. P equals to IV. <clears throat> now, what is P equals to IV? P equals to IV. Okay, first of all, P here is for power. Look at this. P is for power. P stands for power. The unit is in what? W-A-T-T. -T. Okay, please chart this down. Okay, after this, you're going to do uh, some calculation. I'll show you examples. And in our Google Meet afterwards, I'll be going to do questions. And you're going to give me the answer. Right? It's not difficult. Very simple calculation. I stands for current. This is a symbol. The symbol is P equals to IV. It's a symbol. But the unit is different. Okay? Unit for power is watts. Unit. unit means at the end of the answer, you must put something, isn't it? For example, length. Length is CM. But for unit, uh, for power, you must put capital W. This is the unit. How is it measured? Okay? What is the parameter? I is current. It is measured in terms of ampere. Just put capital P for ampere. How much electricity current uh, is used? Then V stands for voltage. Voltage is the, we call it the electrical uh, potential electrical differences between the terminal, the, the electron uh, from the negative and the positive. Okay, voltage. Voltage is volt, V O L T. It's a no problem uh, because it's always V. Okay, so remember the formula P equals to IV. If you want to find <coughs> current, some people prefer to convert this way. <coughs> Sorry, change it this way. If I want I, what I need to do is I take my P and divide it by V. It's still the same thing. Okay, if I want to find the current, I take my power and divide by the voltage. I will still get the same answer. Okay, so to make it easy, I don't want to do that. I use P equals IV. It's very simple, P, IV, all right? So now let's look at a sample example. Let's say, for example, uh, they want to ask you, uh, this, car, this this electric jug, all right, electric jug to boil water, they give you this kind of reading, right? This is the measurement. Right? This is all the figures they give you. Now, watts is 2.2 kilowatts. Now, this is actually power. Watt is a unit for power. They already given you power, all right? Power rating. So where are you going to get this figure? When you buy any electrical appliances, the label, will give you all this. 
Okay, the label. There will be a label somewhere. Go and find. For this cutter at the bottom, at the bottom of the, the, the base, uh, the, the base there, there will be a label there to tell you all this information. V, voltage. You also need voltage in order to do calculation. You need power, you need voltage. All right. Voltage is also given to you. This is 240V. Voltage AC. AC means it uses AC current. Okay, alternating current. 240 volts. So this is suitable to use in Malaysia lah, because the power that, that comes from uh, TNB is in term is 240 volts. Okay, so no need to convert. No need to convert into 110 or whatever. If you go to Japan, uh, then it's different. Japan, the power supply is 110 volts. Okay, so if you go over there, <clears throat> You need to use your this one. Of course, you don't need to bring line over there in a the hotel. So you have this thing, right? But in case you need to bring anything that is you use in Malaysia, it is like uh 240 volts. You bring over there, let's say hair dryer. No need to bring actually hotels you got. <laughs> so hair dryer, your hair dryer is calculated, is set to 240. If you go to Japan, it's 110. You need to have a adapter or a transformer before you can plug into the socket over there because that car electrical supply there in Japan is 110. Ah, so you can see the difference here. You cannot use your hair dryer that is set to 240 volts in Malaysia here to go over there in Japan and plug directly into the socket. You need to get a transformer, uh, adapter or transformer, right? It can transform your 110 volts into 240. Then only it goes into your hair dryer. Okay, so that's what it means. Huh? Now, here, for handphone, no problem because your charger there already got the adapter. Inside that, you will change it into don't know how many volts. Okay, now this one, how to calculate the current? Okay, very simple. Let's look at the calculation. Look at the formula. P equals to IV. Okay, do it together with me. P equals to IV. P is, look at the power. Power here is 200. Uh, why, why must change to, it's giving you 2.2 kilo volts, but you must change it to, uh, not volts, sorry, watts, 2.2 kilowatts, you must change it to watts only. Don't put your kilo there. So if it's kilos, 2.2, 2.2 is actually means times 1,000 because your kilo already stands for 1,000. So 2.2 times 1,000 is 2,200. Okay, you must put in terms of watts, not kilowatts. I, you don't know. I is what you want to find. Current is what you want to find. Calculate the current. Leave your I there. Okay. Times V. V is voltage. Voltage is already given to you. 240. So what you need to do is, all right, don't be uh, too ambitious. You throw everything all over the place. Now keep what you want on the right hand side. Even though the right hand side doesn't matter, then you won't get confused. I see students, uh, they don't know where to throw. They don't know left or right, up and down, uh, all over the place. And do everything wrong. So I keep what you want where it is. What you don't want is your times 240. All right. You have to throw it to the other side with your numbers. Put all your numbers together and put your uh the what you want to find on one side. So 220 over here divided by 240. All right, use the calculator. All right, punch it. So now your eye can put on the left hand side, looks better this way. So it's going to be 220 divided by 24. Okay, what's the answer? All right, put in your chat box here. All right, put your answer. Put your answer. 220. <clears throat> I think you have answer now. I think good. You're very fast. Huh? Okay, divided by 24, you get what? Now put it in decimal. Okay, don't put in fraction. Put in decimal. What's the answer? Yes, 9.1, actually 1.6666666, uh, you cannot, you cannot finish on because this is uh, uh, improper, what they call that uh, fraction uh, that you, now, so you have to round up, you cannot be putting so many, it looks, looks ugly, so either two or three decimal, or two decimal places will be fine, even one decimal place is fine, so you look at your, if I want two decimal places, I look at the third one. Okay, if I want two decimal places, I look at the one. The rest can go and cancel off first. If it's more than five, you will have to add one to the next number. So it's more than five. So it becomes 9.17. Unit here, all right? Unit, don't forget your unit is current ampere. Yes, yeah, good. Okay, so 9.17 ampere. Or if you want to 
在进位 ，you want to round up, you can. We can also accept nine point two. Also can. Okay, you want to have one decimal place only. You look at the seven. Uh, the seven is already more than five. You can also add one to the one become two. Okay, now in this case, you already found the current. All right. Now, if I ask you, what is the suitable fuse rating? Okay, remember last time we learned about that there's one fuse here in the socket, isn't it? In the socket here, in the socket here, there's a fuse here. If I need 9.2 ampere to work my kettle, the kettle is 9.2 ampere, then only it will boil water. What is the suitable fuse I need to put inside there? Okay, I give you a choice. Fuses are already fixed. Either 1, 2, 3... 5 ampere, 10 ampere, or 13 ampere, which will be a suitable fuse that I need to use. Uh, okay, Stella, you have an answer. Yes, 10 is correct. Good. 10 ampere, you, rest. you need to take a little bit higher than your what you need. The current that is needed to boil your water is 10 ampere. Uh, sorry, 9.2. But if you put anything lower, the current cannot pass through. Let's say 9.2 current passes through, it already breaks the circuit. That means your kettle cannot boil water. It has to be a little bit more, that means 10 now. So they offer a little bit of protection. Anything higher than 10, it will break the circuit. The fuse will melt. Okay, so from here, if a question asks you for fuse rating, if the question asks you for fuse rating, please remember you have to find your I first. Find your I first. And then from the figure, look at the number. You need a value a little bit higher. So you take 10 ampere. Uh, that is your fuse rating. Okay, I hope it's clear huh? now. So we have done fuse rating. Now we go straight to how to calculate your electricity bill. Okay, your electricity bill is dependent on what is the thing that you use. Lah. Like I said, if you switch on your aircon 24 hours a day, uh, what happens at the end of the month? Your father's gonna scream at you, right? <laughs> your mom is gonna scream at you. If you switch off for twenty four hours a day, the bill will be very high. Okay, that's only if it's one aircon. If you switch more than one aircon, eh, habis lah, all right? Your bill is definitely three figure. I mean, three four hundred ringgit, five hundred ringgit per month. Okay, and that's only the electricity bill. You 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 what about your lights and a fan or on the whole day, lah, right? That would even be more. So. How to calculate the cost of the electrical energy use? Okay, first of all, you mix the electrical energy. You use how much electrical energy already, right? You, you, you consider the unit is called kilowatt hour. Look at this, kilowatt hour. That means it has to do with time. The longer you switch on, the value will be higher because you're going to times with hours. Again, okay? imagine air con switch on uh, from uh, 24 hours a day. That means you're going to times 24. That means the number become bigger. So, uh, kilowatt hour. Now, not kilowatt per hour. Uh, this is wrong. Uh. Not kilowatt per hour. A lot of students will make the mistake. Kilowatt divided by hour. No. It's not kilowatt divided by hour. It's kilowatt times hour. So, you take your kilowatt. You have to times your hour. So, look at the formula. Kilowatt times hour. Now, kilowatt is a measurement of measure of power. So, you got to see your electrical appliance. Uh, your Aircon is how powerful? Is it 1,000 watt or 2,000 watt? 3,000 watt, okay? Is, what about your oven, your microwave oven? Is it 1,200 watt or is it 800 watt? So the higher the wattage, the higher the power, the more electrical consumption it is. It will use up more electricity and of course your bill will be higher, okay? And also time. See how long you switch it on. If you switch on longer, okay, you've got to times a bigger number here, your answer will be definitely higher. Okay, so these are the two factors which affect your electrical energy usage or consumption. Number one is the power. See your electrical device is how powerful. The higher the power, the more electrical energy used. Another factor is the time. If you switch it on for longer hours, all right, you don't switch off, right? You switch it on, you, you keep it on for many hours, your electrical energy use will be higher. Okay, so let's look at examples. Now, so let's look at uh, 1,000, again, I repeat, now 1,000 watt is considered 1 kilowatt. But for using this formula, you have to put kilowatt. You cannot put watt here. So remember, 
for measurement for the in this calculation for power it has to be kilowatt otherwise your answer will be wrong and for time it has to be hours so if the question gives you minutes or even seconds seconds quite rare like you don't switch on just for a few seconds right so if it's minutes you have to convert into hours and then only you put into the formula then only you'll find your you, you calculate you use already how much of energy Okay, let's use a simple question. Then only you will you see. Okay, before that, let's look at this bill. Every month you will get this bill, all right? Every, uh, and you see the kegunaan column here, you find 479 kilowatt hour. Now, this is the unit. Huh? That month, from what first of whatever month to whatever, uh, 31st of that month or whatever, lah, depending on what time, what, what day the person comes up. It cannot be first. Lah. Sometimes mine is 19 of the month. So, you will... Measure from 19 of this month to last month to this month 18, 19 to 18, right? You have used your house has reduced 497 kilowatt hour. And then after that, you need to calculate, you give you in terms of RM. Ringgit, you have to give how much to TNB. Okay, let's go to calculation. Now let's look at this. Huh? First of all, let's see what is the consumption first. Calculate the first thing you need to do is you need to count the Calculate the cost of electrical energy using this formula. Okay, so and after that, only count the cost times the cent. Okay, now let's see. Write the answer. Write the formula. All right. Don't know how to do. Never mind. Just look here. Let uh, electrical energy use. Write the formula. Then only think how to use it. Okay, electrical formula. Uh, electrical energy use equals to all right power times time so remember this first thing you write is electrical energy use is power times time but keep uh, bear in mind uh, your power must be kilowatt and your time must be hour cannot be minute cannot be uh, watt only so if they give you what you have to change it okay now here look no problem here they already give you kilowatt just put your two here okay so your power must be kw your time must be in hour. Now, here, times. So here, power, no problem, because already kilowatt, right? no need to change anything, no need to change to uh, kilowatt, already given what kilowatt. Now, time. Time here is 10 minutes. It takes 10 minutes to boil water. So you can't put your 10 here because it is unique hour. So how to change 10 to hour? 10 minutes is how many hours? Okay, first of all, ask yourself, one hour, how many minutes? One hour, how many minutes? Everybody knows, right? Even primary student knows, right? One hour is 60 minutes. So you're right here at the side here. Now, if I want to convert my minute into hour, okay, look at this one. I wrote here. Minute change to hour. What I need to do is, what I need to do, times or divide. Yes, correct. You have to divide by this number. Divide. So you take your 10 here, take your 10 here, 10 is given as 10 minutes. You just divide by 60. You just divide by 60, that's all. Okay, so what you need to do, the next step here, cancel off your zero, the next step before you punch, you need to punch so many numbers in calculator. So it becomes 2 over 6, isn't it? 2 over 6, you make it into a smaller number, it is 1 over 3. Now, I don't suggest you put into uh, decimal yet because your answer not yet finished. You still need to calculate the cost. That means calculate in terms of how many cents. So if you have not final answer, don't put decimal first. Because this one, uh, you cannot divide. You will get 3.3333333333, isn't it? It's not accurate one. So leave it in fraction first. Right? This is in terms of kWh. Your unit is already kWh because you already times with hour. So leave it as 1 over 3 because it's not a final answer. But if this is a final answer, you have to put in decimal. Looks better lah. Right? You don't usually put your answer in fraction. looks a bit odd unless you're doing uh, mathematics in fraction. So for in all the other answers, you usually put your answer in decimal if this is a final answer. So it's not final yet because we have to count the cost. cost. You use 1 over 3 kilowatt hour. That means how much? Leh? This one equal to how many cents? Okay, so your next line. Cost of, cost of what? Electrical electrical energy so you got to translate this into rm or cents 
So you only use one over third kilowatt. Actually, how to count? Uh, it's like this. In TNB, they count this way. One kilowatt hour is considered one unit. So here is one over three unit only. One kilowatt hour is considered one unit. And then here the question says they charge you 21 cent per unit. One unit is 21 cent. But you haven't used it one unit. You only use one third of a unit. So what you need to do, you take your whatever answer you have here, one over three. You go and times per unit of cent. How many cents? It is 21 cent. So you put 21 cent. Okay, so what is the answer here? Very simple calculation. 21 times, 1 times 21 divided by 3, answer will be, answer will be 7 cent. Ah. So you only, you see what it means is, you need to pay 7 cents to use uh, your, this 2 kilowatt electric kettle to boil water for 10 minutes. That means you switch it on for 10 minutes huh, to boil your water, it already costs you 7 cents of electricity. Looks very cheap, right? Looks very cheap. But you only use one thing on it. Don't forget your aircon. You haven't counted your aircon. You haven't counted your light. You haven't counted your fan. You haven't counted your rice cooker. You haven't counted your, your, your refrigerator, which is 24 hours on, okay? And your TV and everything. So, 7 cents only for 10 minutes. Okay, then there's another way you can do it. You can do it this way times change to RM. That means, that is, I'm sorry, it costs 0 0.21. Uh, then your answer will be in RM. Maybe it makes a little more sense to you. Right? Some people prefer to see RM, not see the cent. So here will be, punch correctly in your calculator, you will get this RM 0 0.07. 7 cents, huh? Okay, so clear? Easy calculation. Yes, yeah, 7 cents, correct. That's right. Okay, now let's look at other questions. You need to master this because definitely if a question comes up, they ask you to calculate your uh, electrical energy use and also the consumption. How much you have to pay at the end of the day or at the end of the month. Okay, let's do some more questions before we go to uh, our exercises Okay, in our Google Meet. Huh? Let you do. This is what I do, all right? But you can. I can ask you questions. So. First of all, let's say look at this fan. The fan, huh? the question here is uh, calculate the... Electrical energy used, okay, for this fan if it's switched on for five hours. Okay, now this question doesn't ask you for bill. No need to ask for the cost. Just ask you to count the energy use only. Okay, so that means you only do the first step only. Yeah? If the question asks you for cost, uh, then you have to proceed with the second calculation. This one, they ask you, they, if this fan used already how much of energy? If you switch on the fan for five hours and this a uh, fan has the power rating of 400 watts. Okay, let's do the simple calculation. Very simple. So here, uh, so you need to write in electrical. So small. So small, okay, I don't want to. So small, I better I'm just uh, I, uh, write it now. Okay. So electrical energy use. All right, let's put it in red. All right, you do it, girls, you do it in, in, your, in your notebook here. Electrical energy, compare the answer. All right, electrical energy use. This is the first thing you always write when you want to calculate these kind of questions. Electrical energy use equals power times time. Okay, make sure you have this. Ah, okay, so I have a comment here. 400 was divided. Yes, you need to, uh, don't forget, uh, yes, you need to make sure it is kilowatt. Because the question given is 400 watt, uh, you cannot directly put into here because 400 is watt. You need to convert into kilowatt. Okay, how to convert? Again, the same thing. You need to know one kilowatt equals how many watt is 1,000. So if I want to convert my watt into kilowatt, I go backwards, isn't it? Go backwards is reverse. If I go forward, it's times. I go backwards, it's reverse. My what I want to change to kilowatt, I have to divide. Divide by what? Divide by this number. Okay, so I need to put like this 400, all right, is what? Divided by 1000. Then only you can put in like this, correct? Okay, hours, what about time? The hours, the time is how much? Times five, yes, you already answer good. Okay, let me go on slowly because maybe some of you are, some cannot pick up so fast. Let me go slowly. This is five hours. No need to convert because it's not minutes. Already given you hour, you can straight away put inside. 
Okay, so what you get? Cancel, 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 cancel. 4 times 5 is 20 divided by 10. So cancel, cancel again. You don't even need a calculator sometimes. It's so easy. Right, 2. The 2 what? What are you calculating? Electrical energy use? Just combine these two. Ah, kilowatt hour. Simple. Okay, so you switch on your fan. This fan which uses, uh, which is 400 watts hour. Switch on for five hours. You already use two kilowatt hour. And if you're one kilowatt hour, let's say, let's say hypothetically, I give you the cent. Uh, one kilowatt hour is 30 cents, uh, let's say 30 cents. You already two times 30 cents, 60 cents already. When you switch on your fan for five hours, it's not a very powerful fan, right? Uh, you have to pay 60 cents. Uh, that is what it means, okay? For this question, no need because it didn't give you the information for how many cents. Okay, can I? Uh? Simple, huh? Okay, let's go to another question. Let's look at this. All right, Adam uses vacuum cleaner. Uh, okay, good. Yeah, well, I got two kilowatt. Uses vacuum cleaner. Let's try this. Clean up his room. Wattage. Wattage means power, lah. Of the vacuum cleaner is 1,200 watts. Calculate the cost of using the vacuum cleaner for 30 minutes if the cost of electrical energy is 30 cents per unit. Uh, okay, so now this one wants you to count the cost. So first thing is always write, use how much energy already, electrical energy. So write down first. The electrical, electrical energy use Sorry, yeah, it's very smooth. I already put to write it because mine is a, a tablet, all right? So it's uh, not tablet, it's a computer, but it's a tablet form. So it's very smooth, right? Keep on sleeping. So uh, you just write here like this. Write your formula. This is the best thing you can do first time. Always write a formula. Then only think, oh, what is it? What am I given? What, what information give, uh, is given to me? Okay, power, don't forget, is kilo hour. Uh, this is what? So you have to convert, right? One, two, zero, zero. Don't care, just divide 1,000. Okay, I think I have to answer really from you. Time, 30 minutes, divide by 60. Yes, okay, let me see. 1,002, once divide 1,000, become 1 1.2, yes. 30 minutes, divide 60, become 0 0.5. Okay, so good. That means you can just directly put here become 1.2, cancel, 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 cancel. This one is times 0 0.5, 1 over 2. Lah. All right. I prefer this way easier, 1 over 2 easier. I just, I don't even need a calculator. Uh, 1 over, 1.2 divided by 2 is 0 0.6 kilowatt hour. Okay, 0 0.6 kilowatt hour. Am I right? All right, right. 1.2 divided by 2 is 0 0.5. Six, I'm sorry. Uh, okay. All right. Huh? Yes, kilowatt hour. Now, haven't finished because you haven't finished answering the question. Calculate the cost. Uh, now they want the cost. The cost here, here, you need to find another, right? Another one. Cost. Yeah. Okay. So be very clear what you want to find. Don't do everything all at once. Do the cost separately. Then you won't, you won't learn, you won't get confused. Cost of electrical energy, right? So very simple, cost of electrical energy, you take whatever you find this now, provided the answer is correct. Lah. You just put inside here and then you times the one unit the cost. One unit the cost is 30 cents. You have used 0 0.6 only, not even one, one unit. You use 0 0.6 unit, but you still have to pay lah, of course. Nah. 0 0.6 is also considered you use already. Mah. So 30 cents. Lah. So I can put 30 cents or I can put RM like this. 0 0.30. This is 30 cent. Lah. Okay, what's your final answer? What's your final answer? I'll wait for your final answer. Yes. 0 0.30 times 30 cent. Yes. 18 cent. Yes. So if it's 18 cent, if I'm putting, putting RM, I must put RM 0 0.18. Okay. So that means this fellow, Adam, he vacuumed his uh, room for 30 minutes. Eh, yeah, 30 minutes using this uh, powerful uh, use this this uh, vacuum cleaner 1.2 kilowatt. He has to pay 18 cents only. Okay, 
not that expensive lah, 18 cents. But while your bills high, don't forget you have other things. This is only one thing. And one time only, you know. Not, not every day, you know. He's doing it one time only. One time for half an hour work like this, he has to pay 18 cents to for the vacuum cleaner. Okay? Simple, right? Very easy to do. Your math is steady, no problem. Yeah, okay? Good. Now, let's go to one more. One more question. This one uh, a bit more uh, challenging. Lah. As I go on the question, a bit more challenging. Okay, let's look at this one. Now, Lena switches on the air condition in her room every night from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. Okay, so, you know, they, indirectly, they give you the time or the duration. You got to count. Lah. Calculate the cost of using the air conditioner for a month. Uh, now, only not one day, no. Not one day you switch on your air con. It is for a month. This month got 30 days one. If the cost is 30 cents per unit, okay? Don't worry. Don't get so scared with so many information. You write down your formula first. Write down the formula, which is electrical energy use. First of all, you don't calculate. You use how much electrical energy. Okay, do it with me yeah, together. If you're faster than me, fine. Very good. You just type your answer in the chat. And I'll check it afterwards. Electrical energy use. I need to go slower because for the benefit of the students who are maybe a bit slower to catch up, okay? So... If you're fast, no problem. You carry on. You just type your answer in your chat. Okay, electrical energy use. Don't forget this is kWh. So power must be kW. And time must be in hours. Ah, okay, now let's calculate directly for one, month, one whole month. Ah, no need to do two times. Don't count day first and then times one. You put the measurement for the month together. Okay, now power. Let's look at the power. How? Ah, here, 1,000. The power of the aircon is 1,000 watt. Uh, don't forget, you have to divide by 1,000 because it is in watt. Change to kilo watt. Time, eh? Time how many? How many hours did you switch it on? They didn't give you directly how many hours. 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. Yes, count. Now, how to count? You don't count 10 because 10 to 11 is really one hour. You start counting with 11. The best way to count like this is duration. Eh? You use fingers. You know, finger easier. It's the best way. So you calculate uh, 10 to 11. You cannot calculate 10 because 10 is zero. You haven't switched on yet. So you switch on at 10 until one 11 o'clock is considered one hour. So 11, one hour already. 12, 12 uh, at night, midnight. One o'clock morning, two o'clock morning, three o'clock morning, four o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock. See how many fingers have I put up? Six o'clock. Until six o'clock is already eight hours. Okay, so you times eight. Now times eight, this is only for one time use, one day only. Okay, so you the question asks you for what? 30 days or 30 days or so directly add times in another 30. That means you calculate for one whole month. When you times 30 here, it means you're calculating for one whole month. Every day, no fail. You switch on your aircon from 10 to 6 a.m. 10 at night to 6 a.m. in the morning for 8 hours every day for 30 days. So that's why you times 30 here. All right, okay, so let me see your, yeah, okay, you find 8 first, correct? You can also do it this way. You find your 8 kWh, then only times 30. For me, I put together, so put together, easy also, just cancel zero, nothing to do here. So it's 240 kilowatt hour. Now this is for one month, okay, one month already. So now we go on to calculate the cost, you already got your this one. Now we calculate the cost of electrical energy. Okay, cost of electric energy, simple. How much have you used? You have used 240 for the month. And how this is called unit. 240 kWh is called 240 unit. So one unit is how much? How many cents? You the TNB charge you 30 cents for one unit. So you have to times. Yes, RM30 here. Not sorry, 0 0.30. It makes sense to put RM here because your number is going to be will come up to about uh, not few cents. It's going to be in ringgit because 240 my number is quite big. Okay, so now you're going to get what? Times, you just put on your calculator 240 times 0 0.30. Don't cut corners, huh? don't put 240 times 30, yeah, wrong. Huh? If you 240 times 30, your actually your answer is in cent. But if you want to calculate in RM, make sure you punching 0 0.30 okay answer will be rm okay answer here 
Should you answer already? You are faster than me. Yes. 240. Are you sure 240? 240 says 240 times 0.30. You get uh, your answer is in whole number of 72. 72 what? Actually 72 ringgit because I punch in 0 0.30 RM. But if I do it in cent, uh, if I do it in cent, let's say uh, I want to do it this way. I want to see the difference here. 30 cent. Make sure you put SN, SEN. Uh. So for here, I punch in 240 times 30. I will get 7,200. This is cent. 7,200 cent, you got to divide by 100 because 100 cent is 1 ringgit. Divide by 100. So actually, you also get RM72. Okay? 72, you know? Every day you switch on, uh, okay? You think, uh, yeah, not so expensive, right? But don't forget, it's only aircon now. <laughs> it's only aircon now. You haven't counted anything else, you know? Just aircon already 72 ringgit per month, eh, for eight hours. Okay, get? Do you understand? So, yeah, 72 ringgit, correct. Okay? 2240 is for per day. Is it 240? No, 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 per day. Not 240, yeah? Two, 240 is for the whole month. Eight kilowatt hour is per day. So if you want to count by per day, yeah? per day you spend 200, 2 ringgit and 40 cents on it, correct? Yeah? Per day is 2 ringgit and 40 cents. So your 2 ringgit and 40 cents, you also can times 30 days. You get 72 ringgit. Okay? So it's very simple. Okay, now go on to a little bit more challenging. Uh, this is more to real life. Now real life, uh, we don't, TMB doesn't come like this. TMB doesn't give you a flat rate. That means uh, no matter how much you use, uh, they also call you, consider you 50 cents. You use less, also they charge you 30 cents. You use more, also they charge you 30 cents. This is not true. If you look at your electricity bill, at the back of electricity bill, I think, uh, they will give you a tariff. This is called tariff. Tariff is like this. For the first 100 units, if you use less than 100 units, you only calculate 20 cents. It's cheaper for you if you use less electricity. But if your unit, the total is more than 100, you cannot times 20 already. You have to times the next 100, you have to times 30 cents. More expensive. The more you use electricity, the more expensive it will be actually. Okay, so that's why it's always good to save electricity. When you reach more than the 200 unit, uh, let's say your unit is 400 something, uh, you cannot count 30 cents already now. The remaining, the remaining units is 35 cents. Okay, and I'll show you how it works. Okay, so first of all, you need to calculate the each one first. Let's say this is your entire house. The electrical energy used for your whole house. Fan, 100 power here. And hours here is 10 hours. Okay, so don't forget to convert into kilowatt. Nah? Okay, so you've got to fill up this one first. Okay, let's do it now. 100 times 0 0.1, all right, times 10. So you have to do it, you get 1. One kilowatt hour. No need to put K a bit up because up here already got the unit. Okay, now do it now, girls. Do it now. Please do it now. So this one 0 0.1 times 6, you get but 0 0.1 times 6, you get. Hey, sorry. This is 0 0.1. Uh, uh, this one this is 0 0.6. All right, you get 0 0.6. Then your television is 2. It's 0 0.2, right? This is 0 0.1 times 10, you get 1. 0 0.1 times 6, you get 0 0.6. If I'm wrong, please let me know, uh, girls. I can make mistakes, uh, okay? Because I'm nervous. <laughs> Streaming is quite nervous, actually. Yeah. You scared something will go wrong. You know? really scared. All right? And then my uh, my audience will say, hey, what per, uh, this quality also want to streaming. Uh, score me like that. Score me like anything. Okay? 0 0.6 is also 0 0.6. Please let me know. Uh. Any please let me know. Okay, this is 1,000. 1,000 means 1 already. 1 times 8 this is 8. All right, fill up first, each one of it, and then you find the total. So 0 0.6, all right, times 24. Anything wrong, please type me, click double there, all right, 14.4. Let me double check, 24 times 0 0.6, you get 14.4. All right, now, okay, vacuum cleanup, 1.2 times 0 0.5. Already hours and hours, okay. So you get 0 0.6. Okay, now find the total. Add up. You don't add up here. I don't add up here. This is wrong. Huh? You don't add up here. You add up this one. <laughs> There's no point for you to add here. Ah, don't add here. No, no meaning. Don't add that, that, that here. So 
1.6 plus 0 0.6 plus 8 plus 14.4 plus 0 0.6, you get 25.2. <clears throat> Correct? Am I right? 25.2. Ah, haven't done it. I'm still doing. Okay, just double check. Ah. Okay, 0 0.1 times 10. All right, it's 1. 0 0.1 times 6 is 0 0.6. 0 0.2 times 3 is also 0 0.6. Uh, this is 1 times 8 is 8. Uh, put all the decimal same now. 1.0 here. Uh, all your data in the in the table must be uh, same number decimal. It looks nicer. looks better. Okay, let me see your response. You have 25.2. Okay, that means I got someone to confirm with me. Yeah? Okay, good. Now, 25.2 is only for one day. One day. So, if you consistently use the same thing, this one, you switch off for the same amount of hours, you you, you, you use the same thing for 30 days, uh, you put your 25.2 here. Uh, you times 30. 25.2 times 30, you will get one month. You will use up. 756 kilo hour okay in one month you will be using 756 so in that month now 750 how do you how much are you going to calculate all right so you're going to do like this for the first 100 unit that means 752 ah uh, that's right 756 ah uh, you cannot all times 20 cents because they only take out 100 here only you take out 100 all right Take out 100, that means you're left with 600 something, right? Take out your 100, and this one you go and times with 20 cents. Ah, the first 100, like this. The first 100 you times 20 cents. You're going to get 20, ringgit, right? 100 times 0 0.2, you get 20 ringgit. Okay, so I have to do like this. Uh, you do not complete yet, huh? Because you only count one hundred need. So this one here is RM twenty ringgit. Can you see that? Now, now you have seven hundred and fifty six already taken out one hundred. So you are left with six hundred and fifty six. Haven't counted, right? So you have to take out another one hundred here, because you say the next one hundred, the next one hundred is thirty cents. So this next hundred you cannot count at twenty cent already. They count thirty cents now. Ah, more expensive for you now. So you got to times thirty cents. All right. So there's one more electricity you use. Ah, the more expensive it will be. You know. So try to save if you can. Now this will be thirty ringgit. Huh? Okay. So here the next one hundred is counted at 30 ringgit. Uh, not the really more expensive. And what about the next and the following units, uh, the remaining? Now you've taken uh, 200 out, isn't it? You've taken 200 out. You're left with another five, five, six. Haven't calculated. Correct, not? Your The total is seven, five, six. You've taken 200 out to calculate. Now your five, five, six have not calculated yet. Correct, yes. So what you need to do? What you need to do, you have to calculate this alone. 556, five, you need to calculate with how much? You see, 35 cents already now. Ah, next figure is 35 cents. Wow, more expensive, you know? So it doesn't pay to use more electricity, you know? So 556 five, now, this one you cannot count. You cannot times 20, you cannot times 30, you must times 35. Really. So let's see how much is this. 556 five, times 0 0.35. You get, wow, this is 194. You know, second correct? Ma? 556 five, times 0 0.35, all right, 0 0.35, you will get, wow, that looks very expensive, RM194.60, ah, so now only you have to calculate, add everything up, so 196.6 times a plus of 50 ringgit up there, what is your total, wow, 244 ringgit and 60 cents. Do you get the same answer? Your total bill, you don't count everything 756 times 20 cents. You go in, pacha, pacha, pacha. You have to separate because they give you a tariff. This is called a tariff. Different rates for different num uh, units. How many units you have used? Eh? Sorry. So, do you have 
uh, 244.60. Can you confirm with me? 166 times 35. Ah. 166. Ah. 556 times 35. Let me see. 556 times 0 0.354. 194, my girls. Is it right? 194.60. So calculate again, uh, Zichi, Stella. I think you will get correct. Uh. Yes, yes. Yes, ah. Uh. Yes, ah. Uh. Yes means it's 194, ah. Uh. 194. Uh, 556, I don't know how you get, ah. Uh. 556. 556 times 0 0.35. I left my calculator also. 194, ah. Uh. Yeah, okay. So 244.60. Ah, uh, this is the final answer. Anyone have a different answer? Well, we will discuss at the Google Meet here. Okay, so far I found is this. So I think should be correct. Huh? Yes, yes, yes. Huh? Correct. Huh? All right. Okay, girls. So this is usually the question that will come out because you have a tariff. You have a tariff like that. You have a tariff. Huh? 244. Okay, right. Good. Okay, so let's go to Google Meet and let's do some more questions. All right. So, uh, so far, this is what I want to tell you. How to calculate your electrical bill. You need to remember this formula. First, calculate the electrical energy use. Make sure it's kilowatt hour. The answer kilowatt hour. The next one, you times the cent. How many cent per unit? Okay. Okay, two, four, four, five, six. All right. Okay. Then uh, you find the final answer. And if there's a tariff, be careful. Tariff, you have to minus out. First hundred, use this number uh, value. Second hundred, you must minus out. Seven five zero, seven five six. Take out one hundred, you left with six five six. Six five six. Take another hundred, you left with five five six. So if this is another tariff, you have to minus some more. Okay, so this is five five six. Okay, so I will see you in Google Meet afterwards. Okay, to do more questions. All right. Okay. So thank you very much for uh, joining my class. Okay, those students out there. Okay, I will see you in my next lesson. Okay. So bye for now. Okay, bye-bye. I'll see you on my 3P7 in Google Meet. Okay, bye-bye.